Hello everybody, Dave Shopius here in the Robot Lab. Today I'm trying to come up with a new way to control where my arm carriage stops on the arm rail. This is the rail that the arm carriage will run in and out of the torso on so he can do his animations. Now, what I've done in the past and what I want to change is uh, it, it, it's been controlled by a saber-tooth motor controller and a kangaroo daughter board for position and speed. Well, I'm not going to get rid of that, but what I've done in the past that I didn't like is the motor was being watched instead of the carriage. So the, depending on where the cable system was at and how it wrapped and the tensions on it, this endpoint would would move in different spots. So what I need to do is tell the kangaroo that the carriage is actually in the fully extended position so it doesn't overshoot or undershoot um, like it would before depending on how everything was wrapped up with these cables. So how do I do that? <laughs> well you say Put a couple of uh, micro switches. Well, back here is cool. There's lots of room back here for a micro switch to tell the kangaroo that it is in this back position. The kangaroo needs two limit switches. One on the back travel position and one at the, the four very front of the travel situation area, whatever you want to call it. <clears throat> so I think um, you can agree with me that there's really not a lot of room up there to mount a micro switch especially after you figure that the this whole area is going to be encased <clears throat> pardon me in, in, in a rubber skin and it's going to be stretched and pulled in and bouncing and stuff like that so i need something a little more compact um something that'll that'll fit right under here and be triggered when this carriage reaches the end so after talking to a few friends of mine, one namely David McGee, who is just an amazing technician, engineer, uh, high level thinker, <laughs> all the above, uh, he suggested Dave put a Hall effect switch in there. And I had never used one, uh, never really considered them. Um, they were just, for me, I guess they, they seemed a little bit too sp spacey, um, mumbo jumbos. Magic, I don't know. Hey, they're 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 just a just a little chip that sits there, and uh, it activates when a magnet goes by it. So I got to looking, and there's a lot of there's there's not a lot of room down here, but there's enough to, to mount one of those little switches down there. Um, so after doing some research and figuring it out, I figured I needed a. They have different kinds. I'm not going to go into them all right now, but I figured I needed a non-latching hall effect switch on some kind of module that's already soldered together with pull-up resistors and everything else, so I didn't have to do all that. So I wanted to keep it simple. So I found this little guy. He was on Amazon. And, uh, and as you can see, let's go back over to the robot. It'll, it's just perfect. It'll, it'll fit right underneath there. Pardon my fingers. I know this is hard to see. I'm going to have to have some kind of a little plastic um, cover shield put on there so it doesn't, uh, so it doesn't short out when it touches the metal. But that thing will mount right up under there. I can run my wires back through here where the you see the cables are going. And then here I'll just, under here someplace, I'll just glue a little magnet. And when that thing comes up like that, boom, this little, uh, the little chip sticking out will sense the magnet and send a, a signal back to the kangaroo saying it's there. Okay. Here's how it works. <laughs> um, I have got a, this is all 5 volts, okay? And um, I'm going to try to remember to put the uh, links to these these pieces on my, uh, uh, on YouTube below this video. 
so you can go there and find these these things but this is just a little 5 volt non latching hall effect s switch for Adreno it's um, really pretty really pretty nifty that's what I was showing you before and uh, the let me see here let me try to get you something here that that leg there on this side where you see the green hooked up to that's your sensor output the center is your power which is 5 volts in and the outside one is your um, ground. Let me bring this over here so you can see this on this one. Uh, it's hard to see. Pardon me. Well there's a there's a negative on one side and a S on the other. There we can see there. The negative is your ground, the center is 5 volts, and the S is your signal output. Okay. So, um, I'm going to have to run this to a relay because um, I don't think this little guy here will, uh, will do what I want to do by itself. Um, the kangaroo needs a, first limit switches, needs a constant closed circuit until... It op until it hits the switch and the switch opens. So I've got I'm going to have this normally in the normally wired, normally closed wired position, um, and the and this is just a little five volt relay for Adrenos too. It's it's really simple. It works good with this thing, and don't need anything else except for this little module, Hall sensor module, this little relay, and power coming in. So what we have here is the the green you can see coming off the uh, sensor module signal output goes to the input of this adreno uh, compatible 5 volt relay that senses when that thing is shut then it has a separate power in 5 volt power in uh, that operates all the machinery on there then i'm running off a computer power supply 5 volt so it's all five volt. Um, and then when this little guy here senses a magnet, it'll close that relay. And let's see it work. So here we go. Let's see if I can get this looking good here. So okay, there it is. You heard it. And back in the background, you can see the. Um, the light on the relay close and shut, close and turn on, turn on and turn off. Now, let's simulate the rail coming in from the side. Right there, boom. You can see how close it is. Please pardon my camera work. This is the new camera. Let's try that again. right there so I'm gonna to have to figure out where this magnet is going to be mounted on that rail or not on the rail but on the carriage so uh, it's a pretty good pretty good system let's uh let me hook up my continuity tester here to this to this here turn it on Okay, now you you can hear it's normally closed right now. Okay, it's buzzing. Just a little audible signal for you about how it works. Okay, I think that's going to be an excellent solution. And I uh, will leave you here and let you enjoy this video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.